Good morning. Wow, I have truly lost my tan. I'm feeling so pale. Okay, good morning. So, today is August 11th, Tuesday. Um, I've just woken up. It's, well, no, actually, I woke up at 6 30 um, and it's 7 30 now. So, I've just laid in bed for an hour because I can. <laughs> I shouldn't have. I have so much to do, but I just did anyway. Anyway, I've gotten up. I have made my bed. I'm getting new lampshades, which I'm so excited about. And I'm getting new bedside tables 100% because these were just some cheapies from Target that were just quickly got. <laughs> anyway, so when I first get up in the morning, I make my bed. I open my balcony door. I have a look to see what kind of beautiful day it is absolutely stunning then usually I, I this seems so boring is this boring guys like I don't really know how to vlog anymore then I try and drink a big glass of water before I make my coffee and while I do that while I drink my water I usually sit on the couch here and I just set my intentions for the day, which I've spoken about before. And I take some deep breaths and yeah, let the sunshine wake me up. Okay, so today I'm gonna to be filming a live workout from my fitness guide. I'm gonna be doing one from the home version just because Victoria is still in lockdown right now. So a lot of people don't have access to gyms and everything at the moment. So I think the home version will be very suitable. I'm gonna do a lower body workout love a booty workout, a lower body workout, it's always my fave. Before I do that, I'm going to do some stretching for my scoliosis, which I'll show you guys, and I am going to make a coffee. Okay, so I've just frothed my milk, which I forgot to film, but no biggie. Um, now I'm just going to do the coffee. I'm just gonna move it a bit more, like this. I'm gonna just tamper it down. And then watch it do its magic. And we can't forget the chalky powder. And there we have a stunning soy decaf cappuccino. Yum. Okay guys, I'm about to start the live workout and I'm so nervous. Ah, I've never done this before and I wouldn't will to be here with me to kind of like PT me through it, but looks like I'm doing it by myself. So wish me luck. I'm gonna film what I can. Hopefully you guys can see some of it. Okay, see you soon. guys that was an epic workout I am absolutely wrecked I've just made some breakfast I'm so sorry I forgot to show you but it was um, oats with chia seeds pumpkin seeds berries a bit of honey cinnamon and yeah all the good stuff um, right now I'm going to go have a shower I think I'm gonna meditate just do like a 10 minute meditation I'm feeling a little bit all over the place like I've only been awake for three and a half hours and it feels like I've been awake for like six so I'm just gonna take it easy for half an hour have a little break 
have a shower and then I've got so much filming to do stressed so much to do today okay okay guys i have just gotten back from the shops i just got my hair blow dried because i never get it blow dried and i just thought why not i really wanted like one of the head massages and it was just really nice to get my hair blow dried um okay oh love that when they take the makeup off <laughs> um Okay, so I'm about to make myself a chai. Okay, wait, pause. After I got my hair blow dried, I went and I met my mum and Katie, who is one of the people that my mum looks after. So basically my mum is an in-home carer for with disabilities. And Katie is one of her clients, I guess. And she is 21 years old and she has cerebral palsy and epilepsy. She, I met her for the first time today. Um, I FaceTimed with her before, but I got to finally meet her in person and it was the most inspiring, humbling, heartwarming two hours of my life. <laughs> I know that's a bit dramatic, but these people are amazing. Like she basically is stuck inside a body that doesn't function properly. Her brain works pretty functionally. Um, she can understand everything I'm saying, she just can't talk. So she has to talk to me through this iPad device thing. It was just so incredible to be around someone and it just brought me so much gratitude and yeah, it was just, I don't know, it made my day. Probably more than it made hers, to be honest. Um, I'm feeling really touched and I'm actually gonna have her on my YouTube channel on one of my Sis Sessions videos, so stay tuned for that. She's gonna tell you all about her story and she's actually written a book about her life. So it's, yeah, really amazing. On another note, I'm about to make a chai latte. Well, it's a chai tea with frothed soy milk. I'm gonna show you guys. My camera's about to die, so I'm not sure how long this will last, but basically I'm, this is the brand of chai I use, Narada. I just got it from Coles. So I'm just gonna put one of those into a cup and I'm just gonna fill um, about a quarter to two thirds of, about a third, sorry, with hot water. So there's hot water in there gonna let that okay guys it's lunchtime I thought I'd show you what I'm making and it is my famous tuna pasta I talked about it on my last vlog showing like what groceries I got and stuff so I'm gonna show you what I'm doing so I'm making the zucchini sorry I'm cooking the zucchini and the mushrooms just in a pan with some olive oil salt and pepper so I'm just pan frying them I've got my pasta which is this one that I'm using. So it's super high in protein, gluten free, excellent source of fiber. There I have some steamed carrots, three big cans of tuna, and also a big can of corn. Then I'll usually mix it all together, add some sauce. I'll show you the one I'm using. And I'm gonna add some pasta sauce. I love this one because there's no added sugar, so no cane sugar in there. Then I stir it all together, I add some mozzarella cheese on top, and then I put it in the oven. Alright, so I've got the pasta bake in the oven over there, but I just can't be bothered waiting. Like, I'm gonna just have a bowl of it now and added cheese on top, but I'll show you what the bake looks like once it's complete. Okay guys, I've just pulled her out of the oven. So I've got all the vegetables and tuna in there, and then I've just got some mozzarella cheese on top. You can do dairy-free cheese if you're intolerant. But yeah, that's the final result. I'm just also having a protein shake. This is oat milk with Naked Harvest Protein. So I've done one scoop of the strawberries and cream and one scoop of the vanilla shortbread, and oh my God, it tastes so good. This is not sponsored, I just literally am obsessed with this protein powder. Okay guys, woof, it has been a crazy few days. Okay, let me explain. Okay, so, where do I begin? I am currently 
packing up and moving out of here, hence all these like big polka dot bags over there. Um, I'm moving into a, hopefully a house with my sister and our friend Sophie. I am getting a dog in three weeks, therefore I can't live in this apartment anymore because the landlord said no to a dog. However, it's fine because I want my dog Wolfie, it's its name. I want my dog Wolfie to have a backyard and have somewhere to play. I don't want it to be in like a little apartment. I'm sad to give up my beach view. As we all know, I'm very fond of my beach view. I'll show you guys right now. So we've got the ocean just right there. My dead olive tree. We got ocean literally all the way across. So you're probably all wondering uh, what happened to Will. <laughs> We're still together, we're very much in love. He just, um, we decided to live apart for a while just because we went from doing long distance to moving in together straight away and we traveled for a lot of last year together in Europe. And we just never, we realized like we never really like dated, meaning like living apart and like going on dates and just spending quality time together. Like we, we work, a lot and we're very busy and we both work a lot from home so it was a lot of time spent together but not quality which was affecting um, you know our relationship a little bit um, we've got the rest of our lives to live together and be like a you know boring old married couple so uh, yeah that's the story behind that in case anyone's wondering why Will and I don't live together anymore but yeah, life is good. We've been going on dates and it's been, it's just, I'm getting butterflies again. He's getting butterflies again. So it's really nice to just take a few steps back sometimes and, you know, break the social norm of like, oh, like what's next? Like, are you going to like get engaged and get married? But like, that's definitely the end goal. But we're just looking to take it back to the basics and start dating again. So yeah, moving into a house, getting my dog, and I'm getting a new car all in the same week. So this is all happening in three weeks, and I've been driving the same car for 10 years. I drive a Toyota Yaris. It's very banged up. It's had its day. I mean, it still runs perfectly fine. I've never had an issue with it. It's just the outside that's a bit like, you know, seen better days. So a lot of exciting things are happen happening for me all in the matter of like three weeks. And it all is happening on the same week. It's just in three weeks. So I'm very overwhelmed at the moment. I have a lot to do. And on top of that, I've got all my work and I'm just trying to juggle everything. So I'm feeling very overwhelmed. And I'm trying to vlog and it's just really hard because I'm just so busy that I keep forgetting to bring my camera. But yeah, so this morning I was Mia Connor's makeup model. If you have heard of her, she's an amazing makeup artist. This is one of her, I think this was her bridal workshop. Um, so yeah, I was her model and had my makeup done and I'm just wearing my, my Dion Lee top, which I gave to myself for my birthday. <laughs> I bought it for my birthday for myself as a present. But yeah, I got a whole bunch of new jewelry that I wanted to show you guys because you guys are constantly asking about my jewelry. So I thought I'd do almost like a little jewelry haul for you guys. So if you followed me for a while, I, you would know that I love like beautiful, simple, minimalistic gold jewelry. I love a bit of like a flair to it, like I'll explain soon, but I'm super like minimalistic. I love wearing like just plain gold rings, maybe something that's a little bit got more of a little detail to it. And I love, I have my seconds and thirds pierced. So I do love wearing um, beautiful dainty earrings in the second and third holes. I'll explain what brand it is that I'm wearing at the moment and that's Ana Luisa. It is a sustainable jewelry brand which is really important. So their goal is to achieve a net zero carbon footprint by the end of 2020 which is so awesome unlike that motorbike sound. They're sustainable and doing their part to make this earth a better place. The jewelry is pretty affordable to be honest. Uh, it starts at like $39 I'm pretty sure and can go up from there but super affordable considering it's an amazing quality, it's sustainable, tarnish free. You can pick up jewelry and you can feel the quality of it. Like I know that sounds weird but when you get cheap jewelry you can just feel how light and cheap it is. You pick up this jewelry and like this ring especially is just so 
it's quite heavy but not too heavy to the point where it's like uncomfortable but it's like solid like you you can feel that this is great quality and like the shine and the color like some gold jewelry i get is not always a very nice gold this gold jewelry you'll be able to see is just a really beautiful bright gold that's what i love personally i don't like those like rose golds or those really yellow golds that are quite deep i love more of like a bright gold okay so i'll show you each piece so the first piece i got were these matching sets i've got them on each side and excuse the full-on makeup i don't usually wear this much makeup like i said i was um modeling for me a corner so this is this is what i look like right now but these pieces are so beautiful and dainty they're quite small which i love because i actually have quite small earlobes you can see that mine doesn't hang down or anything it just goes straight to my side of my face so what i love about these are the beautiful little stones and beautiful little stone features that they have the little like flowers and they're girly but not too girly like they're just dainty i think that's the best word to describe it and they clip in super easy like they're small but they're not hard to put in i find like a lot of second and third earrings they can be quite difficult to put in but these like were super easy so yeah i got these because i'm pretty much going to keep them in like permanently um i usually alternate between like just a normal gold hoop in my first or I'll just kind of layer earrings like this and do more of like a, I don't know, like a boho vibe. So I'll give you one more close up. The second piece of jewelry I got was this beautiful gold ring I was telling you about. I love this. It's just so simple, but it's such a nice everyday ring that you can also dress up. Like you can layer this with um some other similar gold rings ones with like maybe diamantes or like a detail to it or something like that but i just love a plain gold ring like it just it's perfect to wear every day or dress up and you can't go wrong with it and it goes with any other piece of jewelry you style it with so it's just my go-to always i'll show you a close-up of this so that's what it looks like you can see the quality is so beautiful the shape of it is quite unique it's like round but I don't know if you can tell there, but it's like very round and solid. So yeah, don't know if I'd ever be a good hand model. And the final piece I got was this beautiful detailed ring. I picked this because it's kind of antique vintage looking and I love all that style jewelry, like old school antique style jewelry. I just feel like it always comes back around. It's always timeless and classic. It's kind of like a threaded rope or something if you can see what that looks like you're giving that greek goddess vibe and i think it's really beautiful oh there's one more piece i forgot to show you i got this ear cuff so um you can literally move it up and tighten it or loosen it and you can put it anywhere i just want to put it kind of in the middle there it's gold you can take it off it's not permanent or anything like that and it's just nice to add a little bit of edge to your look. Um, you can obviously like style it so it looks like you've got more piercings, but you don't actually physically have any piercings. So yeah, it's just a handy little accessory to whack on if you just want a little bit more to your look. <laughs> yeah, I hope that is helpful for you guys who always ask about my gold jewelry. I hope that you love it as much as I do and that you are supporting a sustainable jewelry brand, which makes me very happy. I'll leave a link below because I know you guys like that. You like linking um, items that I'm talking about. So I'll leave a link below and you can check out the brand yourself and see if there's anything you like. Okay, so moving on with the rest of my day, I have to, I'm gonna go meet Chloe and Mitch's baby right now. I'm so excited. I'll try and vlog it. Um, but obviously I'm meeting it for the first time, so I don't really want to put like cameras in its face and like all of that kind of stuff But I, I will try I'll try get something for you guys it's gonna be a lot more vlogs coming since I'm going to be moving in with my sister and She wants to be a part of like my channel a bit more and I want to introduce you guys to her She's really funny and such a good time. So yeah, I'm so excited and I will see you guys soon Mwah. Oh no, I don't want to move this little hand. Oh, there's my phone. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Look at your little claw. Oh. Oh. Hello. Good morning, guys. I 
kind of took the long weekend off and just haven't been really feeling like motivated or creative I think I don't know what it is but anyway I am back on the vlog um, I haven't got too much going on today to be honest and I think that's why I haven't been vlogging because I haven't had too much going on I did go to Noosa which a lot of you guys said you would hope that I vlogged but unfortunately I didn't I just wanted to take time to myself and just enjoy the moment but yeah I'm gonna vlog today I'm gonna show you guys what I'm having for breakfast um I kind of forgot to show you the first steps but basically I'm making avocado toast with smoked salmon pesto and tomato so I'm just gonna make it for you and yeah Okay, I am going to do my makeup because I'm going to the markets and getting breakfast with my family. So, first things first, I've just washed my face and put my moisturizer on. So, that is all done. And now, first thing I do, a little bit of primer. I use the MAC Strobe Cream. Rub it in. Then I go in with my cream highlighter first. And I like to just pop some on my cheekbones and nose. And then I'm just going to blend that out with my finger. Doesn't have to be perfect because I'm popping foundation over the top. Okay, now for the base. I get my foundation brush and I spray it with Max Fix Plus. <laughs> then I get this bronzing tint. It's from Dr. Oh gosh, it's rubbed out. Dr. Horashka or something. And I do a little bit of that and some MAC face and body. I'm in the color C5. And I just grab like the end of a eyeshadow brush and I just mix it together. Then I just go ahead and I spray the brush again when it needs a little bit of a top up. Just blend it down my neck a little bit just because my tan keeps fading on my body. Okay, a little bit on the forehead. Now I go in with concealer. I use the NARS Creamy Concealer in Custard. Okay, so I'm just going to go under the eye and I just draw a little bit upwards then I always just do a little bit around the corners of my lips there then I just get my flat brush and I just dab it into the skin and then I get a little bit of my Chanel cream bronzer if you've followed me for a while, you know I love my bronzing products. So I get a little bit of that, and I just push that into the skin. And then a little bit more around the forehead. Okay. Then I go in with some cream blush. This one is the Nude Sticks in the color Naughty and Spice. So I just get a little bit on one of these brushes. And I just blend it out. So I'm going to I don't really need to fill them in too much. And then... Just 
just going to fill a little bit in. And now I'm just going to pop some clear brow gel. This is literally my ride or die brow gel. It's the 24 hour brow setter by Benefit. It's literally the only one that makes my eyebrows stay in place. Time for some eyeshadow. So I'm just going to use this bronzer here. It's an hourglass one. It's the bronzing radiant light. And I'm just going to pop a little bit of it. Just kind of all over my eye. Just adds a very beautiful glow. This is probably a step where it's kind of making it not so much a no makeup makeup look anymore. You could just pop the scar on and be done with it, but I just like to add a bit of glow to my eye. Just because my brows are so big, like I just want to kind of, you know, add something else. And the mascara I'm going to use today is a Marc Jacobs one. This is the At Lashed. Okay, I'm going to do a, just a clear lip gloss. And it just brings my lips back to life. Oh, it's this one. It's the Leno Lips. Um, this is the pear one. It's just like an ointment balm. It's just clear. It's literally my favorite. And we're all done. Okay, so I am, I've just chucked on some white jeans. Oh, I hate when the pockets go all weird. I've just chucked on some white jeans, this little white crop top, and one of Will's um, Ralph Lauren shirts. And I'm just going to chuck on some sandals. And that is my little markets outfit. Actually, I'm going to put some earrings in. I'm going to do that. Okay, so it was kind of a quick stop at the market because it was very windy and cold, but mum got here earlier than me and got a whole bunch of produce. I just got strawberries and blueberries but now we're going to breakfast okay guys i'm gonna wrap the vlog up here and start a new one so i'll see you guys in my next one and thanks for watching